I think uh, the most interesting aspect of loop quantum gravity is this sense in which space uh, itself is, is ultimately quantized, that there can be lumps of space, lumps of area and volume. Um, uh, so you can reduce uh, the area and volume of space, but only to some kind of intrinsic ultimate quantum level, just like you can take a, a room full of, uh, of, of, of oxygen uh, and nitrogen and noble gases, air, and, and reduce it down to single molecules and then possibly even single atoms of noble gases. So the idea that it's atomic in nature, quantum in nature, I think makes space um, very, very uh, fundamentally interesting and there are lots of interesting consequences that follow on from that. Um, the other thing that's intriguing about loop quantum gravity is like all of the approaches that start with general relativity, as it seems to me at least, is that what happens is you kind of lose time on the way. Uh, so you have to figure out a theoretical reason uh, why you know, we experience the phenomenon of time, uh, why things happen, um, and there's a past, and there's a future, and there's a now. Uh, now, to a certain extent, um, Einstein was quite happy to accept that time is an illusion. Um, it's something that, that we, uh, mentally, our brains are wired in such a way that we invent time in order to make sense of the world, in order to stop everything from happening at once. Uh, but the, the simple truth is that you, you've got to go through various theoretical um, twists and turns in order to be able to put time back into the picture. And there are different ways of doing that. Um, and, and so that's, again, fundamentally fascinating. We've been speculating on the nature of space and time ever since the ancient Greeks. So uh, to still be speculating about it, I think, is um, two and a half thousand years later is, uh, is a sign that we're perhaps still not quite there in our understanding yet. But we're, each time we take a step forward with these theoretical advances, we, we get uh, pictures, uh, suggestions as to how space and time might be that are, are fundamentally intriguing. They may not be right, but they are definitely um, uh, fascinating to, to study.